Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Warsword Conquest. Now, when we left off, we had just joined the High King's army as an enlister, and we had, well, let's just say, wandered around for a little bit. I gained quite a bit of cash in the process, but I saw your comments after the previous episode, and I decided, well, what shall we do? Let's leave the High King's army, and we will enlist with someone else, and maybe we will get into some combat and now as you can see here we have done just that now the only thing that i am a little bit skeptical about in terms of this particular battle is of course this yes as you may see here we have only 19 enemies night goblins we are against okay well we haven't seen these guys before and as you may see i am a skeletal archer so oh my okay well, apparently, as you have all said in the comments, the Skeletons units do become incredibly powerful as time goes on, and they start by being some of the weakest units in the entire game. Trust me to choose the weakest start, because knowing me, I really do need a good start, but yes, never mind. We do have mummies here. Goodness me, look at that. Look at these guys. Who are these guys? Oh my... I don't even want to attempt saying that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this guy is going to very quickly kill me. Well, okay, I did not realize that that would happen because, of course, I was envisaging that our units would actually help me out there, but apparently they do not want to. So, yes, we're just going to have to freeload on Lord Apophis at the moment, which is not entirely what I wanted to do here, but wait a minute. What is that? Look at this! Oh my goodness, look at that! Oh wow, okay, so they have mounts that are Cobra, Snake, Skeletal, Undead thingies. Yes, that is the technical name, of course. But there it is, anyway, we have seen some of the higher tier units that the Undead have to offer. That is great, I must admit. Okay, well, I suppose we can take some of these things to sell. But as you see here, we do have a reasonable amount of gold, I have to admit. So, I suppose we will be continuing onward with this fellow, and I will be cutting away. And I think I'll probably stay with him for another seven days. So you'll hopefully see us at around the 30th day of the month, if this month has 30 days. But nevertheless, that will be my plan for the foreseeable future. And we will hopefully be able to then acquire a reasonable army with the amount of funds that we have and then we will head off and maybe attempt to do a couple of guildmaster quests and maybe even a high king setra quest as well so that we can improve our relation with him and maybe become a vassal once we have acquired some more renown so without further ado i will see you soon Okay, so before I mention anything else, I must just report back that the cattle quest for this particular mod is not very easy at all. Of course, it has still the regular way that you would actually use to drive cattle onward, I suppose you could say. And that is, of course, to go behind them and attempt to guide them that way, rather than them following you. So that is a little bit irritating, I have to admit. And also maybe what could be in the full version, if possible, if any of the mod creators are ever going to watch this. But yes, it would be rather nice to have the shortcuts to the guild masters on the actual town screen. So when you see go to the marketplace, visit the tavern and so forth, you would also have meet the guild master. I think that would be relatively nice. If it is easy to insert, of course, that particular submod, then by all means, that would really help me out, and I'm sure help out many other people as well, because, of course, I do have to find them every single time I want to speak to the Guildmaster, so I have to go into the streets and then locate them, of course, but yes, I suppose it is a small detour for the task at hand, which is, of course, to take on these troublesome bandits. Oh, yes. So, as you see here, we have 52 units. I made a brief stopover at, what is it now, Zandri, I believe it is? Yes, Zandri all the way down there. And I happened to find some of these undead pirates and zombie pirates. 
So that is very nice indeed. Now, luckily enough, I did find a couple of these skeletal marksmen in a tavern at Kemri. However, the only unfortunate thing about them is that I don't believe I have too many infantry units to protect them. So let us just hope that we'll be able to make it so that they don't die too easily because it, of course, would take quite some time to level up someone such as that. And now I have saved up my skill points since I was enlisted in the army. And now we are going to be using those points in a very good manner, I hope. So let's see here. We have two in engineering already. I think we're probably going to want to get more charisma, more leadership. And then what do we want? Ah, for a lord, or at least for a... I suppose player that would increase the effectiveness of their army. I think maybe more charisma and then eventually get foreign leadership, maybe. So I think we'll go for one more in charisma and then we'll get another point in prisoner management as well. So we can make some more money, of course. That would be rather nice. So let's get some more one-handed weapon proficiency and then we will be pursuing these fellows. Now we do move at a much quicker speed and I'm surprised that I haven't caught them yet. So let's do this. Yes, there we are. Very nice indeed. Take out these bandits. So let us take to the field. We have 52. They have 30. So we should, in theory, have the advantage. Now, as you may see here, I do have some Araby slaves. Now, I went over to the south area of the undead Tomb King's Empire, and I decided, oh, let's take a look at what kind of units this yellow faction has. And so these are the units they have. So we'll see what they become. Eventually, hopefully something incredible. Of course, I'm not entirely sure whether they could beat the Tomb Kings in that regard, because of course, as you saw previously, they do have units that ride undead snakes. So, yes, I have a feeling that not too many units could beat that. But yes, let's just hope that our skeletal archers will actually be able to do a pretty reasonable job here. Now, I don't want our units to charge in here. Okay. Something tells me that we're not actually going to have a very good time here, although I do have my spear at the ready, and hopefully I will be able to use it to good effect. Now, these bandits are not well equipped in the least, of course. As you can see here, they really do not have any shields, and that is why I'm a little bit surprised that our skeletal archers are not doing the best job that they could potentially do. So, let's just hope that we'll be able to... Hmm... I suppose distract as much as we can, and then our infantry will be charging in. Let's try to make it so that these enemy units are not going to surround our skeletal units, and whoa, these fellows, they are grinding my gears by blocking consistently. Oh, it appears that we're not actually losing too many of our units now. That is rather nice. Now, come on. Ah, no. A little bit out of range there with our spear. Come on, take him out. There we are, thank you very much. Goodness me, these bandits are very easy to take out. Even 36 damage kills one. I think maybe he was a little bit injured though. But still, that is pretty impressive. The only thing I can really be thankful for, I suppose, is the fact that we have a very swift mount. And we're able to catch up to this guy very quickly indeed. So let us take him out. There we go. Very nice indeed. So there it is. Zero losses, and we took out 30 bandits. Of course, as I said before, they didn't really have the greatest gear, but we are now able to take them prisoner as well. So let's take as many of these things as we can. Now, I do have a sickle from my skeletal archer days. I did get promoted to marksman as well, which is very nice. So let's see here. Ah... We might want to use that instead of the Fauchion, to be honest, because it is a blunt weapon, and we could take more prisoners then. So I think we'll equip both of them, and I'll use the mace in, well, let's just say, prisoner acquiring opportunities. That seems like a good idea. So, oh, there we go. We can now head on back to the Guildmaster, as well as have leveled up. So let's increase our charisma once again, and now we have to decide what we are going to increase from there. Hmm... Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. I think maybe Athletics or Shield, perhaps? Maybe Weapon Master, actually. Not at the moment, I don't think. I don't think that would make too much difference. Maybe we should be the trader in our party here, because I am increasing charisma rather considerably, so maybe that would be a better idea? No, okay. 
Athletics, I think, is going to serve us a little bit better than that. Let's get some more one-handed proficiency and a little bit in two-handed as well. So let's head back to Kasaba and we will be handing in the quest. Yes, and as you can see here, I did have a quest to move a cattle herd to the Pirate King Fortress. And I was really looking forward to seeing the Pirate King Fortress. But, unfortunately, as I stated before, the... Oh, no. Yes. Running into traps of bandits is not too good. But, yes, as I stated before, having... Oh, no, they're goblins. This is not good. Okay, come on, take him out. Yes, we took out that Night Goblin Spear, very nice indeed, and is that it? No, it appears there is actually more of them, so let's see here. Unfortunately, I don't believe we can take these guys prisoner, but I think the mace is pretty reasonable to use anyway, so I think we may just want to do that. But yes, that cattle quest, absolutely incredibly difficult, because of course you do have to guide the cattle by running behind them. And, of course, you don't exactly know where the crossing of the water is, so it's difficult to get them across to the Pirate King's Island. So, yes, that is why I failed it. <laughs> Fortunately, though, we didn't lose any relation for our failure, so I suppose that's not too bad. Now, where is... Th ah, there he is. Okay, so we don't have a ranged weapon, so... I'm not entirely sure why he's stuck up there, to be honest. Is that a roof, and we're not able to get up there, or what is going on here? Because there are some stairs, so you would assume... Oh, something tells me that I'm going to be stuck here forever. Maybe. <laughs> oh, no. Aha. Okay, so apparently he is stuck on the roof over there. Well... This mod, as I have stated previously in the first episode, I believe, is in beta, so do bear in mind that there are going to be some bugs. So I will, I think, be cutting away here, and I will see whether I can find a way up. Okay, with the grin on my skeleton's face here, we have just found a way up. Now, I will be doing it again just to show you which way I went. So, if any of you encounter this bug, then, of course, you can solve it this way. So, as you can see, he is over there. I came up these stairs because, of course, if you cannot get from below up there, then we're going to have to drop down from above. So, as you can see here, we can jump on this little structure here, and then we will be jumping down... And hopefully not dying in the process. So, yes, there we go. Very nice indeed. And now we will take him out. Take this, goblin. And this is for spawning on top of a roof. Yes, that's what you get. Okay, so <laughs> there we are. We actually took out the last remaining bandit. Wonderful enough. 100 gold was our reward, which is not too bad. And now we can actually take a walk around the streets properly. And hopefully we'll be able to find the guild master without issue. I believe he is up here. I believe he is up here anyway, so let's just hope that he is still in the same location. And he appears to be not. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> I will be cutting away once again, and I will attempt to locate him. Okay, so of course I neglected to mention that you do have to visit the town while it is in daytime, so there it is. We have finally found the Guildmaster, and we have increased our relation with Kasabar, and we of course have gained 3 renown and 90 gold, which is not bad. So there we go. Now does he have... Ah! He has another job. That is wonderful. A group of bandits have kidnapped the daughter of a friend of mine, and are holding her for ransom. My friend is ready to pay them, but we still need someone to take the money to those rascals and bring the girl back to safety. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh my goodness! Oh, this is amazing. Okay, so 1800. Aha! Uh -huh. This is wonderful. Let's do this. Yes, 1800 gold. Now, theoretically, I could just leave the girl and I didn't have to <laughs> go to rescue her, but what fun would that be? We are going to be rescuing her as best we can. So, let's see here. 15 days near Kalavanic and pay them the ransom fee. Okay, so where is that? Hopefully it's not too far away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where is it? Oh, my goodness. I don't even think it's in the Tomb King area. 
Oh, no. Okay. Well, let's take a look here once again. Okay. So, locations. Where is it now? K, okay, we need... Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of Ks. There it is. Okay. So, let's have a look here. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. Well... <laughs> This is going to take quite some time, isn't it not? Yes, okay. Oh my, it's actually going to take a lot longer than I anticipated. Oh, well, it's actually on the exact opposite side of the map. Well, this is going to take quite some time. Oh, well, never mind. I believe it is worth it for 1,800 gold. And so, I will be cutting away while I make the journey there. And then, I will, of course, cut back if we come across any interesting events or maybe some enemies. Okay, so we are in hot pursuit of some bandits, as you can see here. Eight bandits, three brigands, seven outlaw swordsmen, and six highwaymen. So I thought, well, that is a rather unique party we have not seen before. So hopefully, I'll actually be able to pursue them. We are at... A quicker speed than them however we are entering the trees every so often so it's not too good however I have a feeling that they might be leading us into a trap oh my goodness I actually thought that was something to be very wary of indeed so let's hopefully be able to hmm yeah this is not going to happen I don't believe okay well it appears as you see here, we have run into a troll. Now, on my previous characters that I talked about in the first episode, I encountered some of these on my very first encounter, and they took us out in one hit. Yes, every single one of these trolls was able to one-hit us. So I will be paying for... Oh, yes, free passage. 307 dinars. Okay, well, take that. How many... Oh, there's only six of them, but they are very... Oh, never mind, there's 12 of them. I think that might be a little bit too difficult. So we are going to be running away as best we can. And I think we may just have to give up the chase of these bandits. That is very unfortunate. Well, another piece of news that I must just mention is that the Tomb King's Empire has declared war against the Dark Elves. So, yes, it appears we'll be seeing quite a few campaigns going on there. And maybe we could enlist in an army and will potentially get some combat against some of the higher tier dark elf units so without further ado once again i am going to be cutting away and i will see you once we have arrived at the ransom location okay so as you may see here i have <laughs> been running away from these beast men for the last one minute or so and they are incredibly quick as you can see 6.5 speed and I was only going at 5.5 or 5.6 so yes I have a bad feeling about these fellows because one of you did tell me in the comments that minotaurs as you see here there is only one in each troop but I have a feeling that because you warned me about them they are going to be very difficult so I am going to be heading in here hopefully take out this guy as quickly as we can and then run away as fast as we can as well so we are going to state, no way, you release the girl first. Yes. You fool, stop playing games and give us the money. Well, yes, there we are. I have no intention to pay you anything. I demand that you release the girl now. You won't be demanding anything when you're dead. Well, fighting words for a dead man, is it not? Yes. Okay, so we have 52, they have 38. I am hoping that we will have the advantage here. Because we are on an... Oh my goodness, okay. Yes, we are on a huge hill here. So I have a good feeling that we should have a very good chance at taking all of these guys out before they are even able to engage the majority of our units. So let's just see here on the map what's going on because, of course, we are blinded by the mist and the fog. Now let's just hope that our archers are able to be rather effective because mm, in the last fight that we had in this episode I was not incredibly impressed but maybe if some of them level up we will be able to see the full might of the skeletal archer however that does not seem to be happening at the moment as you can tell so it appears that our cavalry will be charging in and will attempt to do quite a bit of damage like that of course I am going to be riding 
through their lines and we will attempt to do as much damage as we can in the process. So let's just get our archers to come on down the hill a little bit, hopefully get into effective range a little more. And oh, it appears that they are actually doing a pretty reasonable job littering the ground with many arrows indeed, but it does appear that they are getting quite a few kills as a result anyway. So thankfully enough, I was not incorrect in buying, or shall we say, recruiting those archers. So that's not too bad. Now, if we could just take these guys out, then that would be wonderful. Because I have a feeling that maybe we will need to run away very fast indeed. And maybe we'll have to get rid of some of these Araby slaves, unfortunately. Maybe some of our lower level units as well. So there is three renown, three morale. And there we go. Yes, come with me, we are going home. Yes, great. Okay, so let's see here. We can increase some of our archers. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what do we want here? Skeleton horse archers, they are riding horses. I was hoping that they would be riding snakes, but yes, let's get one of those and let's get two of the Master of Arrows as well. So yes, there we go. Now what do we want here? We want two Master of Arms, I think. Ooh, Tomb Guards, that's going to be rather cool to see. So let's get some of those as well. Undead Pirates. Okay, these guys can level up. I think we have too many archers as it is, so let's get some Slave Guards. And we'll get some skeletal warriors as well. I do not believe we have the army capable of taking on these beast men. So I will do my very best to get away from them after we have looted as much as we can here. Okay, so there we have it. Now, these guys are going to be absolutely atrocious towards us. So... <laughs> I'm going to hope to get into the town. Okay, let's do it. Ah. Uh, oh, and they didn't even ask for any money. This does not bode well. Okay, well, I think this will probably be our final fight of the episode, but I am hoping that this will be a victory and we will be able to prevail against overwhelming odds. So let us take to the field and... Yeah... I have a feeling that we are probably going to be having quite a few issues here. Maybe we want to retreat. Do we? Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, well, at the very least, we have a huge amount of money from the quest that we've just done. Let us just hope that we will not get taken prisoners ourselves. Because if we are, then we may indeed lose all of the money that we have obviously gained from the quest. So please, skeletal archers, please do a good amount of damage here. I really need you to. Oh no. Okay, so let us charge straight on into their lines and let us see what they are made of. Okay, they're made of sterner stuff than the bandits, of course, as you can see there. 48 damage and I don't believe he even flinched. And now they are throwing axes at me, which is even worse. So... Let's try and take this guy out. Oh no, another 40 damage and still he is not dead. This is not good. To say the least. Oh no, okay. Come on, let's send our cavalry and infantry in. And we will just hope to everything that we will be able to take these guys out. I think as soon as the beast men get into range of our units, we are in a very bad spot. Oh no, we are in a very bad spot. Okay, come on, take these guys out. guys. Yes, come on, we can do this. We can actually do this, I think. Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we've actually taken out one of the Minotaurs already. That is good. Come on, archers. Come on, archers. Take out that Minotaur. Take out that Minotaur. Look at it. Yes. It is completely cushioned. Or shall we say, pin-cushioned by arrows and... Yeah, that was a very weird glitch. Okay, well, never mind. There we are. We have prevailed against some beast men. I was... Not entirely sure whether we would be able to do it, and I'm still not sure, because as you can see here, these two beast men have shields. That's not looking good, I have to admit. If our archers run out of arrows, and... Oh, very nice job. Look at that. It appears that our skeletal cavalry was able to pull the beast men gore away from the archers, and indeed turn his back to the archers so that they actually have a clear shot. So there it is. We actually survived a brutal assault by some beast men. But thank you very much for the warning. They are very difficult to take out. 
and I am supposing that the only reason we were able to do that is because of the amount of archers that we have. And, oh, thank goodness the kidnapped girl was not killed. I actually thought she was killed for a minute there. But yes, they wouldn't allow that, I don't believe. So, there it is. We have a chipped Bardiche, which might be for one of our companions, maybe, in the future. We also have a fighting axe, which might be good instead of one of these one-handed weapons. But for now, we are just going to continue onward. And anything better that we have here? No, it appears not. So, there it is. We have advanced to level 8. We have gained 619 gold from our victory there. So that is even better. And now we want to increase our charisma by one more and get some more leadership. So, let's now increase his one-handed and a little bit of two-handed as well. So, yes, I will make the very long journey all the way back over here to Kasabar, and we will, of course, talk to the Guildmaster. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.